everybody. It's Happy Mail Queen. Happy Tuesday to everyone. Today I am sharing a downloadable file. Um, it's called a Boo Mail Bundle. It is Halloween themed and it is by My Crafty Boutique, Louisa. I love this. It is so adorable, you guys. And it's perfect for your Halloween crafting. Some of us who um, like to send boo mail, who like to swap, uh, she designed it for that particular purpose. So what she did is she created some chip bags. Uh, there's six designs. Three of them are pastels for pastelween. Um, some of you guys like to, you know, uh, use those kind of colors and then she also has the vintage style and the vintage style is right here um, they also come with coordinating uh, tags uh, nutrition facts uh, barcodes so it's really cute you could um, incorporate it with uh, your other like collections if you wanted to um, whether it's vintage or the you know uh, newer pastel pastelween style um, she also created some memory decks cards so you will in this file get two memory decks cards and it's a coffin and a tombstone so they look just like this and um, of course you have to download this you have to print it and um, well, with the exception of like the tombstone, oh, sorry, the tombstone and this, um, some of the die cuts, you know, you do have to, uh, you don't print it, but you just cut it uh, using either your Cricut or your uh, Silhouette Cameo or, you know, whatever machine you have. Um, so it is not a physical kit. You do have to download it, print and cut. Okay, uh, what else can I say? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you because I did print out everything and I did uh, finally figure out how to cut the Memory Dex cards um, using my uh, Cricut Maker. And thank you so much, Alvina. I so appreciate your, uh, your suggestions. Um, I was trying to figure this out last night and I just, I needed help, so... <laughs> I, I had to message the girls and um, so anyway I appreciate everyone that helped Eileen thank you so much too okay so without further ado let me go ahead and share with you guys all right so um, first of all uh, this is the chip bag um, there are six of them again and um, this comes in a JPEG form okay so just to let you know so actually if you buy this kit um, and you don't have a Cricut machine or, you know, any electronic machine like that, um, you can still use just your regular printer to print this out, okay? Because all you need to do is um, cut the white border right here and then assemble it. And uh, Louisa uh, did that on her channel, so I'm not going to show it here. I will uh, put her link in the description box. Um, so that, you know, if you're interested in purchasing this kit and if you're interested in how to put the chip bag together, she she does show you on her video. All right. So isn't this adorable, you guys? I love the colors. And again, this is the pastel um, set. This is called Celestial Chips. And so you can see where you would fold. OK, um, there's nutrition facts which I think is so adorable. And hopefully my camera is picking that up. And um, it's just, it's so fun. And she has here 2000 calories. <laughs> so I thought that was really cute. And then she has these little, she calls a stamped image. This is a witch right here. Um, it looks like a paint splatter almost. <laughs> if you're not, you know, looking, if you're looking from afar, but um, it's actually a pink witch. On a broom and then this one here she also has uh, a stamp here which is uh, it looks like a jack-o-lantern family and it's on the 
barcode and it says Halloween greetings. Isn't that adorable? I just love all the little touches that she put in this. You know, four ounce single serving. It's so cute. Um, assembled this uh, chip bag is going to be uh, about four and three quarter. Is that right? Four and three quarter, I believe, by, oh wait, it's up here. Um, almost seven. It's maybe like between seven and one eighth. Oh no, it's past seven. I'm sorry. It is almost seven and a quarter. So that is how I printed mine. I think I used the actual size, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so there's that one. And I'm going to try to hurry up now. Okay, this is called Spooky Treats. And again, you have the nutrition facts and the barcode. It's so cute. So, you know, you're basically like folding it like this, you know, to do your chip bag. And then, um, you, you know, of course, you cut your white borders. And then you can even like score, you know, lines, um, horizontal lines to make it look like a chip bag. Or if you have one of those, um, what is it called? Like a crinkle, you know, thingamajig. <laughs> I have one of those. I'll have to show you guys um, when I create a project. So there's that one. And then there's the Halloween candy mix. So cute. And she did all this um, by hand, you guys. She drew all this. So really cute. I think she said the only thing she didn't really draw is the witch. Okay. So then this, now I did print this out just as is, because I always like to just kind of show you um, how the die cuts look like or labels if you will isn't that adorable and then here's how that looks like right here conjured up for you bye that's so cute so these are labels um, no tricks just treats and it's just so cute now she uh, Louisa turned hers into a sticker so you can do that if you have sticker paper and you can set it on your machine for um, stickers so then it doesn't cut all the way through it leaves the backing um, I did not do that because I I wanted them to be die cuts so that's that one and then this one right here is the vintage style so this says zombie snacks spooky goodies inside and again it says Halloween greetings here and then nutrition facts which are they the same I'm not sure and so there's that one there's witch treats you can't have just one that's right and look how cute this is so this is the traditional Halloween colors and then vampire bat chips this is so so pretty I love the pink with the uh, purple and the bats sell by date eternity <laughs> that's so cute love that you did a, such a great job with this Louisa thank you so much for sending me um, the file and then here you go those are look how cute those labels are I love witches you guys know and look at a different boo mail uh, tag okay and then um, she gives you also oh so these these come in SVG uh, form format so that you can um, put it through your Cricut um, otherwise you know she has the silhouette format as well and this one here this is the one I kind of had trouble with and Alvina had to um, help me uh, when you download the file in your Cricut um, what happens is you're gonna get uh, it's gonna tell you you can't download it it's too big a file uh, but you just say okay anyway and I think I kind of stopped um, at that point because then when you do try to upload it um, you get kind of this blank you know it doesn't look like you uploaded it but go further and just go ahead and you know do okay or just download it just continue with the process <laughs> and then it does show up okay it will show up so just okay okay everything and it'll, it'll show up um, 
on your, you know, all the stuff that you download. Anyway, <laughs> it's been a while. I'm sorry, you guys. I haven't used my Cricut in a while. Um, if you don't have a Cricut, I was able to just print this out, you know, just through my computer, through my printer. Um, you can fussy cut this if you want. The only thing that's going to be tricky is, you know, obviously this part right here, but it, it can be done. You know, you can just cut with your, with your scissors. Um, it The shapes are not difficult to cut with your scissors. Um, it will be a little bit tricky right here, you know, if you want to um, create uh, a shaker because this creates a frame. Um, again, you can use an X-Acto knife, you know. So there is hope for you guys who don't have a Cricut. You can still fussy cut um, with your scissors, okay? Same thing with the tombstone. And I just printed this, um, uh, the, us the actual size. So it's about four and a little bit over four and a half tall for the tombstone. And then width wise, I believe it's like four, oh, sorry, three and um, seven eighths. I think it's about the same height. I think that's how I did mine. Yeah, this one's like four, almost a little bit shy of uh, four and, uh, what is this? Five eighths. And then width wise, it's three and seven eighths. So I think I sized it the same way, three and seven eighths going this way. Okay, and so you can do that. I did cut them out for you guys because um, she does give you toppers. So the toppers look like this, okay? So you would, um, you know, use your whatever color paper you want. Um, this is a cup file. I don't believe you can print these. Um, this is a cup file. So I just made my own score mark because with my Cricut, it's, it's really tricky. It's just easier, I just score it myself with my bone folder so and they are not symmetrical you guys so it's not like well at least I don't think they are are they <laughs> I don't even know because I didn't exactly fold it like is it symmetrical maybe it is symmetrical and I just didn't fold it right I don't know I was having issues last night you guys it is symmetrical I'm sorry there is a way to fold this right smacking in the middle. For some reason, last night, I couldn't do it. So my folds did not, not folds, but my scallops do not line up. But yes, yes, it does line up now. <laughs> See, I couldn't even do this last night. That's how crazy it was for me last night. Um, but it's okay because, you know, it is, it is a topper, so, um, it doesn't have to be even, like it doesn't have to be scallop to scallop, right? Uh, okay, so then this is the topper, and then and then you can get the you get the die cuts with it. So look how cute and adorable this ghost is. So I've already um, cut it, and I've already paper pieced it, and I just used my glitter cardstock because I wanted a pink ghost. But um, you would just do that, and then. The bow is so adorable. And again, I paper pieced it. It, it comes with five, sorry, six pieces. Um, and then you just do that. And you can make it any color you want. That's the, the beauty of it. So that's how my ghost is gonna look. Um, Louisa also showed that she, she put googly eyes. You can put googly eyes. This is the largest googly eyes I have. And so I have to use this one, but um, I have the one with the eyelashes, but it's um, it's not big enough. But I could definitely use this if I wanted to. I haven't put it together yet because I just kind of wanted to show you guys. That's how it would look. Isn't that cute? And then um, she also has words with the uh, shadow. So this is two pieces right here. And again, my Cricut cut it, and look how fine some of the areas are right here. Oh boy, 
yeah so <laughs> um, because I used this glossy cardstock and and the first couple of times I did this um, it would like take some of the the black um, part because it's not black through and through right because it's glossy so it has a white um, you know the background is is white um, yeah some of it just kind of came off um, through my Cricut and so then I resized it I made it just a little bit bigger and then that seemed to work but even then it it some of the black pieces were missing and then all I did all you need to do if you have Copic markers or even even your uh, Sharpie just go over it before you stick it on the background okay before you stick it on the shadow part so I hope I'm making sense here you know you can do that so anyway look how cute right so I can just do this and BAM I have a little topper how cute so yes you get that and then um, you could also do a pumpkin and I made mine a pink pumpkin so you can do it this way you can do it this way what however you want to do it you can um, size this smaller if you wanted to and you can also do that and then the other word is treats look how cute that is oh my god it's so cute I love it um, and then the other one is Halloween so I just uh, did two cuts because um, I did it in black so I passed it through with black a couple of different black cardstock um, the the shiny kind and then just a regular uh, 100 pound cardstock and then I also did it in this lavender color um, so that's how it would look like I just reversed it you know this one's black on purple and this one's purple on black isn't that oh my gosh it's so cute I love it again you can do any colors you want you know if you're into you know the the blues do it right for past Halloween all right so then um, the tombstone I'm just gonna show you this is how it cuts out and I did do several cuts but the way she gives it to you is you have uh, I think let's see sorry not that one let me let me just show you this one so you get the base for your uh, memory decks and then you have the frame this here I cut it in black but then you also get the inside part and I cut this using um, one of her other collection the monster bash from two years ago um, I used the background paper and then you can decorate it I wanted it simple and of course you would put acetate here and I was just gonna uh, use uh, um, double-sided uh, I have this one right here foam tape I think it's just the easiest because I just, just happen to have the size and that's what I have planned to do to make it a shaker and then you also get the smaller piece here which whatever you want to do you can put it in the back if you want if you want to put some information there for your um, swap partner or whatever right a little greeting or something Louisa did uh, put it together I believe on her channel so you can check that out and then um, this is the tombstone so you'd get these pieces right here again the background and then um, of course the the um, the memory decks so that's how the file is you get you get to you get four pieces to create it and of course if you don't want to use um, foam then you can cut this part like I don't know ten times <laughs> if you want um, just glue it all together so that way you um, can fill it with uh, your sequins or whatnot okay but that is how it works and um, yeah it's so cute so thank you for that Louisa 
and um, the only thing is uh, these and I already showed you guys these but this is how it comes out cut and I did cut mine twice because the first time around I turned off the bleed and for some you know my Cricut was not cutting it like it was leaving a border right there and um, so I re I redid it and this time I put the bleed on and so it cuts it a little better as you can see here it doesn't leave the white border this one left the white border just on one side it didn't have it on the other side and if you do like the white border there is a way to do it also I figured it out last time but um, how cute look at that look at these you guys can like use this as a topper you can put this um, you know like you can size it smaller and uh, use it in the center of uh, your flower or something like that oh my gosh the possibilities are endless and you know you can use these nutritional facts on another chip if you wanted to if you you know want to create a different chip bag sure <laughs> um, I love these these are so fun love them so cute right all right yeah try it out you guys digital kits are awesome they are because you know you can just print as many as you want or as little as you want um storage is less of an issue <laughs> and um go ahead and get your your uh your kit so uh, i will leave the links in the description box um of uh Louisa's Instagram because that's how you can purchase it through her Instagram and then she can email you or you know however she does it so uh, check it out you guys it's such a cute kit and I hope you you know you support um, my crafty boutique she does awesome awesome uh, digital kits and I believe she said she's gonna also have the um, the old digital kits um, the monster bash uh, I think that's going to be also available. So check it out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and stopping by my channel again. Talk to you later. Bye.